Many people who hear about machine learning often think of it as magic. Hey everyone, my name is Mayan. In this video, we will learn what machine learning is and how it is more of a computation strategy than some out of the box magic. Do you guys know Osama bin Laden location was predicted by a set learning supercomputer known as Nautilus. Also, Google's deep learning machine learning program can detect breast cancer with an accuracy of 89%. All this became possible due to the knowledge and implementation of machine learning. Now you must be curious to know more about machine learning. We are going to learn machine learning but before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit this subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from Simply Learn. So without taking a minute more, let's see what we will cover in today's video. So first we will discuss what machine learning is, then we will move ahead to understand the importance of machine learning. To learn any technology, it is important to know its advantages and disadvantages. We will continue our session by understanding the different types of machine learning, followed by some important machine learning algorithms. In this video, we will have a look at some important machine learning tools. Further, we will have a quick look at the applications of machine learning in our day-to-day -day life. And finally, we will end this video by knowing what the future of machine learning holds. So without any further ado, let's begin. Do you guys know from predicting the weather condition by examining cloud designs in the Babylon time in the 18th century BC to using electronic messages, phones, analyzing satellite images in the 20th century. The process of weather forecasting has evolved essentially throughout the long term. However, in this digitalized period, forecasting climate and recreating long term climate patterns have been accomplished with the assistance of machine learning models by examining volumes of information by computer. So the question arises, is it possible for a machine to learn from past experiences just like we humans do? And the answer to this question is yes. And this became possible just because of machine learning. Machine learning is a subpart of artificial intelligence, which is broadly defined as capability of a machine to imitate intelligent human behavior. Like humans learn from their past and acquire knowledge through experience, either directly or shared by others, machine acquire knowledge through experience shared in the form of data. Let's understand with the basic idea of how machine learning works. Firstly, you have to input the past data or training data into the machine learning model. After that, machine learning model learns from the data and creates logical models. In the end, when you input new data to a machine learning model, it predicts output according to the logical models. After understanding what machine learning is, the question arises why we need machine learning. Even though machine learning is constantly developing with countless new technologies, it is still used in different organizations. Machine learning is important because it aims with a perspective on patterns in user behavior, operation design and support the improvements of new products. Also, as the volume of data overperforms, people move in the direction of computerized systems that store data and machine learning models can predict proper solution. This will reduce human efforts, time and increase work efficiency. Like Facebook, Google, Uber, top organization use make machine learning as their master store. Machine learning has demonstrated history in almost all the sector like marketing, e-commerce, banking and many others. As of now, we are well aware of how machine learning is important. Let's have a walkthrough of the advantages and disadvantages of machine learning. Before diving deep into any technology, it is very important to understand its advantage and disadvantage. Here are some advantages of machine learning. First one is low error rate. If coded properly, machine learning models would have a low error rate as compared to humans. Machine learning models have incredible clarity, accuracy and speed. Second one is automation. Machine learning reduces the need for human resources at every step as it automatically learns and predicts the output. Third one is wide range application. Almost every sector takes advantage of machine learning to reduce human effort and get quick results. Talking about healthcare, machine learning is used for screening or to predict health risk in healthcare. 
in education machine learning is used to give each student an individual educational experience or in banking enables more accurate reporting by automating credit risk for both banks and customers the fourth one is trends and patterns identification we can identify the numerous amount of trends and patterns for example the stock market uses machine learning prediction model to predict trends and patterns for company stock and other financial assets and the last one is continuous improvement using machine learning you can see continuous improvement in your results machine learning is capable of learning from the information we provide them as every coin has two sides machine learning has advantages as well as disadvantages let's have a look at some disadvantages now the first one is costly machine learning models are expensive and time consuming to build rebuild and repair the robotic repair can reduce the time and manpower required to fix machine learning models but again that is too pricey second one is limited time and quality resources machine learning needs a lot of data but it also needs good quality data to learn efficiently the third one is storage the backup and servers are continuous at work and are responsible for recording the acquired information this keeps on building up the cost for a machine to learn the potential information is a continuous activity thus there is a need to store the information different storages and cloud services are not sufficient to store this amount of large data and the last one is unemployment machine replacing human jobs can lead to several unemployment now that we have an understanding of the advantages and disadvantages let's move forward and discuss different types of machine learning machine learning is classified into first one is supervised learning second one is unsupervised learning third one is reinforcement learning fourth one is semi supervised learning let's understand each one by one in detail in supervised learning the machine is trained with the help of label data with external guidance the machine learning model is given a small preparation data set to work with let's understand this by example suppose we input data as an image having known label data of dogs in this way machine will learn and create some logical models when we input a known data the machine model will categorize them as per their similarities and patterns that is we can easily sort the unknown input as a dog Supervised machine learning can be further classified into two types. First one is classification, second is regression. And the next one is unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, machine act without any guidance. In this technique, machine act upon the data that is neither classified nor labeled without any external guidance. For example, suppose we input data as an image having both mango and banana, which the machine has never seen. In this way the machine has no clue about the characteristic of mango and banana so we can't categorize them as mango and banana yet it can categorize them as their similarities pattern and contrast that is we can easily sort the above picture into two parts unsupervised learning can be further classified into two types which are clustering association now let's have a look at reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is hit and trial method In the absence of any data the machine is bound to learn from its experience only let's understand with an example suppose we input the image of a square machine learning model will respond using the past experience suppose it gives output as a circle then feedbacks provided as wrong it's an image of a square now the machine learning model will learn from this feedback and it will predict the correct output when we input the same image next time Reinforcement learning can be further classified into two types: positive reinforcement learning, negative reinforcement learning. And the last one is semi-supervised learning. Semi-supervised learning is a sort of machine learning algorithm that lies between supervised and unsupervised machine learning, or it takes labeled and unlabeled data to predict the outcomes. To beat the disadvantage of supervised learning and unsupervised learning algorithm. The idea of semi-supervised learning was presented. The principal point of semi-supervised learning is to utilize accessible information successfully. After discussing what machine learning is, importance of machine learning, the advantages and disadvantages of machine learning, and its types, let's move forward to see commonly used algorithm in machine learning. In computer programming terms, an algorithm is a set of well-defined instructions to solve a particular problem. 
it takes a bunch of information sources and delivers the ideal result. In this modern time, there are lots of machine learning algorithms used today. In this video, we will put highlight the most widely used machine learning algorithm. The first one is support vector machine algorithm, also known as SVM. SVM algorithm falls under the supervised machine learning technique. Next is the K nearest neighbor algorithm. It falls under the unsupervised machine learning technique. Further, we have hierarchical clustering algorithm, which uses an unsupervised machine learning technique. The last one is decision tree algorithm, which is most widely used algorithm in the machine learning area. The decision tree algorithm falls under the supervised machine learning technique. After this, let's move forward to see some tools used to train the models in machine learning. The current market is flooded with an array of machine learning tools like TensorFlow, Apache Singa, Spark, Amazon Machine Learning, PyTorch, and many more, which help in training the models and the system. Let's have a look at each of them. First, we will start with TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a free and open source programming library for machine learning. Key features of TensorFlow are fast debugging, scalable, and many more. Google uses TensorFlow to power machine learning implementation in products like Search, Gmail, and Translate. And the next, we have Apache Singa. Apache Singa is an Apache top level project. It is used for developing an open source machine learning library. Key features of Apache Singa are distributed learning, memory optimization, time profiling, and many more. Apache Singa is currently in use at Garnier Technologies, Citigroup, and many others. And the next one we have Apache Spark. Apache Spark is an open source bound together analytics engine. Sparks come with the features like pre-processing, data transformation, and many more. Spark machine learning tools power the Toyota Customer 360 Insights platform and Social Media Intelligence Center. And the next, we have Amazon Machine Learning Tool. The most promising strength of AWS Machine Learning Tool is that they are based on a highly comprehensive cloud platform. Amazon Machine Learning comes with the features like accurate prediction, reducing operation overhead, improving customer experience, and many others. Many big MNCs like Netflix and Facebook use AWS as their machine learning service. And the last one we have PyTorch. PyTorch is an open source machine learning framework in view of Torch library. PyTorch comes with the features like distributive training, a robust ecosystem, cloud support, and many more. Companies commonly using PyTorch are IBM, Qualcomm, Walmart, and many more. Let's move forward and cover applications of machine learning. Knowingly or unknowingly, machine learning is playing a major role in our day-to-day -day life. Here I have some application of machine learning which will prove how machine learning is helping everyone all over the globe. We all use YouTube, Netflix and Facebook in our day-to-day -day life. The machine learning algorithm figures out the patterns of what type of video movie we watch and thus provide a suggestion accordingly. Tesla is the one of the best companies which manufacture self-driving cars using electric, solar, and integrated renewable energy solutions. Cars by Tesla are already making their way to the market and ready to show the world of the power, AI, and machine learning. Another application of machine learning is speech recognition. We all aware of voice assistants like Siri by Apple, Cortana by Microsoft, and Alexa by Amazon. These assistants translate is speech to text and use machine learning to provide results. Machine learning is also used in medical sector to determine various diseases with the help of machine learning. The pattern and the symptoms of disease can easily be diagnosed. And the last one is forecasting. Weather forecasting and financial forecasting are application of machine learning in which future outcomes are predicted using historical data. It involves the use of statical modeling data mining technique, and machine learning for prediction. So as we have seen all the major aspects of machine learning, we will finally have a look at the future of machine learning. The commercial impacts of machine learning can really hold a huge potential to generate significantly high productivity growth. Machine learning is one of the quickest developing fields on this planet at the present time. Machine learning engineers are in high demand. The average salary of machine learning engineers in India is 9 lakh per annum. And the annual base pay for US machine learning engineers is $1,30,000. All the ventures as of now have countless uses in machine learning, which is the fundamental inspiration behind 
why there is an interest for occupation in that field. The growth in technology has led in increasing demand for professionals who can understand and make use of the vast amount of data present. Companies like Facebook, Google, Tesla and many more are constantly hiring machine learning engineers. The future of machine learning looks bright and will pave the path to many more inventions. And with that we have reached the end of this video. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you have any doubts or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We will be happy to help you. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.